Hello, how are you all? All right? Welcome to Alpen's Great Breakfast Blogger Off. I'm so thrilled that you've joined us. Breakfast is absolutely my favourite part of the day and I already probably have five or six ways I like to eat Alpen. I'm looking to be inspired by your creations. Good luck. Hi, I'm Charlotte and I run the blog, The London Blog. And today I am making breakfast muffins with Alpen apple and raspberry. My name's Claire, I run the London Whisperer blog and I'm making fruity Alpen pancakes. I'm Olivia, my blog is called oliviacox.com and today I am making Alpen breakfast smoothies. I'm Julia. My blog is called Mondo Mulia and today I'm going to make Alpen original muesli scones. As you can tell there's no measurements here because in the morning who's going to measure anything? Well this is probably the least technical dish that you'll see here. It's not strictly following a recipe so it's probably slightly cheating and I've actually never made it before. <laughs> I'm hoping that um, it's a bit different to what everyone's doing, so I might get brownie points. You never know. I don't think I'm going to use that banana. Nope. Hang on, I'm trying to stiffen some white of the egg, which I've not really tried before, but hopefully it will go. With scones, you need to bear in mind that you shouldn't overmix them, because they're not going to rise as much. So I'm going to try and do the dough quickly. Fingers crossed, it's gonna work out. <laughs> I mean, it tastes like strawberry milk. Alpen to the rescue. I put too much honey in it. Definitely, it's way too sweet. I was trying to do everything from my eye, but I'm hoping once it's in the oven, it'll be fine. I hope. I've added it, oh gosh. So the scones are ready for the oven. I'm just going to sprinkle some Alpen muesli on top. I'm quite nervous. They look a bit stodgy in the middle. So hopefully five minutes. What? No, what? Whoa, whoa, no, 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 that's whoa. not fair. <laughs> not the prettiest of pancakes, but hopefully it'll taste OK. <laughs> It is hot, sorry. It's pretty, it's fine. We want it a bit gooey in the middle. Pretty pleased. I've got soggy bottoms. <laughs> <laughs> so, my muffins don't look that good because I've had to bake them in a Yorkshire pudding tray. So now they're going a bit big on top. So I'm thinking a bit of natural yogurt, a bit of alpha and sprinkled on top. Amanda's not gonna know. They're gonna look good. They, they might be cooked. <laughs> The smell when you walk in this room. Have you had a good afternoon? Yeah. So I'm going to start at this end, and this looks like it's a smoothie. Oh, it smells really cinnamony. I love cinnamon. Oh, that's really nice. I mean, that could be dessert. I'd have that as a dessert. You could have Alpen for pudding. I never thought of that before. So this is pancakes with strawberries and apple so, oh my goodness muesli pancakes sorry i do massive mouthfuls you don't want to see this mm. 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 normally pancakes you know you've seen them with blueberries or whatever but that actually tastes a little bit more substantial this looks good muffins Oh my god, it just smells of my nan's house. 
Oh, really like sponge. I really like that. Being a Cornish girl, this is a completely new take on a scone, and I would say I am a professional scone eater. So this, this is a test in a lot of ways. Well, that's really nice. Again, it feels heavier than a normal scone, but in a good way. I have to make a really fast decision. That's the winner. Yeah. Because it's a pudding as well as a breakfast. <laughs>